Hi, this is Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to do a pan and zoom into a photograph to add motion. And we're going to do this in Sony Vegas Pro, and you can do the same thing in Sony a Movie Studio. It works the same way. Uh, in my project media, I've imported a photograph, and I'm going to bring that photo up on the timeline. And with all photos on the timeline, you can drag to extend the photo or to make it any size you want. I want it to be about 10 seconds. And what I want to do is, this is the photo here, I want to zoom into the operator of this piece of equipment in the, in the video itself. And it's real easy to do, and to do that, I go up to my video crack and click on the pan, event pan crop, which brings up the event pan and crop window. Now the first thing you want to do when you have the event pan and crop window is go over here to workspace and select zoom and what you want to do is give yourself enough space that you can see everything that you're working for. This square right here by default is showing the full video frame of the photograph. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to put your mouse on wherever you want the zoom to end. I want my zoom to end right here about five and a half, six seconds in so I put my mouse right there and what, once it's there I'm going to add a keyframe. I hit plus to add that keyframe. You notice there's a keyframe there now. And now all I have to do is resize that photo to give me what I want. So I'm just moving it in. I'm going to have it zoom in right there onto the operator's face. About that big. We can move this around wherever we want. I want even more detail about that size right there. And if I like that, I just click close. And you see this is zoomed in here. Now to see how the video operates, we just click play. That's how easy it is to uh, zoom into photographs into Sony Vegas or Sony Movie Studio. Easy to do, only takes a few seconds. And once you've zoomed in, you can move into other parts of the photograph so you don't have to just do one zoom. You can do multiple zooms. Anyway, I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.